Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about easy ways to make money from Lego. If you're a beginner, I recommend focusing on two to three themes. The reason you're focusing on two to three different themes is so you can know what's out at the moment, what's retired, what the retail price is, what's a good discount to pick up. So first, hop on to eBay or Facebook, search up your theme and then Lego at the end and then newly listed. These show the newly listed Legos for your themes and you can just keep scrolling until you think you found a good looking deal. On Facebook and eBay, people are just trying to make money and just sell off their stuff really quickly so they actually don't know the real value of their Legos that they're selling. To make sure you're getting a good price, go onto eBay, search in that set and then go sold. Or you can go on Brick Fanatics or Brick Economy, search up the set, see if it's retired or not, how much it's retailed for and see if you're getting a good deal or not. For an example, on Facebook, I found a Lego creator, Lego house, set number 4954. It was being sold for $15, but it's worth used around $350. Another great way of making money from Lego is partying out sets. An example of partying out is finding a Lego on discount on Target or Amazon. Once you find the set on Target or Amazon, you go onto Bricklink, see how much it's worth parted out. You're gonna wanna see if it has a three times part out value and you're gonna wanna pick it up. Once you get your set, you take out all the bags, open them up, separate all the pieces in different bins, then list those onto Bricklink. And every time you get a sale, you get those pieces, ship it off to the buyer. To find the part out value for a set, first you're gonna wanna find a set, then you're gonna wanna head over to Bricklink, go to market, price guide, part out value, put the set number into part out value. I recommend putting no box, but adding extra parts and then press get value. Here, it will show you the part at value in the last six months. This is what you're gonna to wanna to look at due to this is what's sold in the last six months or this is what it's currently listed at. Once you do that, you put its original cost and then the part out cost. It's $82 because I am in Australia, so it's AUD. You do 82.48 divided by 23.20 and that equals 3.55 profit multiplier. So this is a great set to part out and you'll be making three and a half times the value of if you just sold it as a set. My personal favorite way to make money from Lego is Lego investing. This is where you find a set in your chosen themes. Uh, Star Wars, for example, you research what's gonna retire at the end of this year. Uh, so the Scout Trooper helmet, that's gonna retire at the end of this year. You buy those at discounted price at like Amazon or Target somewhere. You hold these sets in your room, make sure they don't get damaged or water damage or anything like that, then you hold them until they retire, which will be around the fourth quarter of the year. It may take a year or only a few months to go up 50%, and all you have to do is buy it and hold it in a room. You're gonna buy multiple of multiple sets. So maybe you buy three Scout Troopers, three Darth Vader helmets, maybe three Boba Fett helmets. And then all nine of these sets will go up in value. Maybe they make $50 each, and that's already $450 profit. An example of a set that's done this last year is one of the helmets, the TIE Fighter Pilot helmet. Um, that went up over like maybe three times its value in a few months. It went crazy. Another set is the Ghost. Many of the UCS sets. None of these sets have to be big either. Even Darth Vader's transformation set, that was about $40 and now it's over $100. If you bought a bunch of those, you would have made $60 each. And they're quite small sets, so you can have a bunch of them in a room and they won't fill up much space at all. Anyway, those are the best ways to make money in my opinion with Lego. If you guys have any other videos you want me to make, just let me know, leave a comment. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.